These are the Photoshop instructions for a lesson called Snow Overlay. Using this photo of the eagle, we are going to make it look like it is snowing. Um, I see this a lot, especially in either outdoor and portrait photography where, you know, your subjects look like they're in the middle of a snowstorm. In some cases it is a real snor snowstorm, but in most cases it's just a fake overlay. Um, overlays are just a layer that you can add to your images and blend them so that it looks realistic. Today we're going to start working with the image called Eagle, and also on either Schoology or Google, you're going to go find a, a snow overlay. Um, this website has 260 different ones, or you can go to Schoology and find one, uh, actually two that I've already found for you, one called Snow Overlay, one with snowflakes, and one called Realistic. And the difference between the two is that the one with the snowflakes is a little bit more cartoony and created. The Snow Overlay 2 looks like more you know, realistic type, uh, type of uh, snow falling from a distance. Uh, pick one of the two overlays, doesn't matter which one it is, and open it up in Photoshop. Also have a tab for your eagle photo. Um, first step is to go to the one of the overlays, either one to start with, and select it all. You can go to Control A on the keyboard or select all then edit copy. You can also do control key, uh, C on the keyboard. On your Eagle tab, I want you to paste it by going to edit paste or control V, and it's just the right size. It's uh, covering up the Eagle photo now. It's created a new layer here on top, on top of your background image. While you're uh, on the layer one, um, layer, the snow layer, you're going to go to this tab right here and choose screen. And now we have this nice snowy um, overlay layer on top of it. You can move it around. This is the, the tool on top, your moving tool. You can drag this around so that, you know, you can put the, the snowflakes in a different position. I want to show you what the other overlay looks like, the more realistic version. If you wanted to get rid of this one, you can drag layer one to the trash can down here at the bottom. And this is snow overlay two. I'm I'm just going to copy it and then go back to my eagle picture and paste it. It's not as big as I need it to be, so I need to go to edit, transform, scale. You can also do control T on the keyboard and I am going to drag it a lot bigger than I need, probably slightly bigger than the actual eagle image itself. Once I've gotten it bigger, I'm going to choose the check mark and just like I did earlier, go over here to screen and I could move this around wherever I need to and it does to me look a little bit more like real snow than the other one with the snowflakes. But you choose either snow overlay one or the more realistic version as long as your eagle photo now looks like it has snowflakes falling. Uh, when you uh, save this, make sure you file save as and call it Eagle Done. Also change where it says Photoshop PSD uh, file uh, style to the first JPEG. Then submit that on Schoology and also uh, for the second grade go find one of your own images and turn that in uh, for grade number two with the snow overlay.